welcome back to Sahara TV. Right now, I want to share with you Sahara TV's top five controversial African films to see in 2013. At number five is Le Président, or The President. It's a mockumentary by Cameroonian native Jean-Pierre Bacolo. The film is based on a fake scenario around the disappearance of current Cameroonian president Paul Bia. In the film, Bacolo poses tough questions about the president's devotion to the development of Cameroon, as well as other African big shots who still romance with colonial forces. You go ahead, Jean-Pierre. The film has been banned in Cameroon, but thanks to Boonie TV, an online video on demand platform, we all now have access to see it. <laughs> Le rapport que moi, Joe Wood, votre serviteur, entretient, n'est-ce pas, avec le président, est un rapport télévisuel, donc hypnotique. Le président serait allé chez un rappeur nommé Valsero, le général Valsero. Ce n'est pas le président qui n'est qu'une autorité constituée qui doit choisir celui qui va le remplacer. Je suis seul et je suis fort. Can you imagine your president being kidnapped? It's crazy, right? Make sure you go to Boonie TV and check it out. Now, at number four is Burn It Up, Dejasa. The film takes you into the greedy reality of hood life in Ivory Coast capital, Abidjan. It follows the rise and fall of young cigarette vendor, Tony, who lives in Abidjan's Wasakar neighborhood, an area that is known to be rough. The film's director is Soliman Bamba, a.k.a. Lonesome Solo, who reportedly disappeared on the eve of the film's screening. Reports say he fled the country for Europe because of political disputes at the time between outgoing President Lauren Bagbo and President-elect Alison Quattara. Now, lucky for us English-speaking folks, it has subtitles, yes. The Jasa was filmed on, in 11 days on a budget of 15,000 and is having success on the festival circuit. And that is exactly why we're watching it. Un mot de la étang, on l'appelait King Dabagaou. Parti de Cap de Vent, faut prendre ça. Et le Jasa, c'est comment Vous êtes qui même C'est le petit bandé de fans. Moi, voilà. je m'appelle Dabagaou. Mais toi, tu vis chez tes parents, tu es dans la rue. Yes. Dabagaou, c'est le nom du village. Dabagaou, tu as dit quoi Il faut que tu aies pris soi dans le Jasa. Toi, tu as pris soi aussi. Donc tu me dis la vérité. Tu te prostitues vraiment? Hein? Tu te prostitues? Pourquoi tu veux lui poser un boulot qu'elle n'aime pas Ah, moi je comprends pas. Elle te dit qu'elle n'aime pas ce boulot, il y a quoi Eh, hey, mais écoute, c'est moi qui paye. C'est moi qui paye, c'est moi qui paye. Tu nous dis ça tout le temps. Hein Je change un peu de CD là. Maman nous a sacrifié pour que toi tu sois policier aujourd'hui. Hey. Elle nous a déspolarisé. Hey, hey. Je suis ton grand frère, hein. Donc tu contrôles ton langage. Hey. Personne ne bouge. Oh, t'as pas Le jazz a pris feu Le jazz a pris feu Oh, t'as pas le jazz feu All right, Côte d'Ivoire, make sure you guys go and check out that film. Now, our number three is Half of a Yellow Sun. Now, there's no way to ignore this film, no matter how Hollywood it is. Although, I do believe it's being a bit overshadowed by 12 years of slave. I mean, we can't include them all. Half of a Yellow Sun is the adaptation of Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's award-winning novel. It tells a Nigerian love story set in Nigeria during the Nigerian Biafran War. The film has a stellar cast with Thandie Newton, who plays Alana, 
an Igbo girl who just returned from her studies in England and falls for the lovely looking Shuatel Ijiofo, who plays the professor. There was heavy controversy initially with the casting of biracial Thandie Newton as an Igbo woman. Now, I'm a fan of Thandie Newton, and I believe that she can play the hell out of a 100% black woman role, but I don't think she quite mastered that Nigerian accent. Hmm, what do you think, O? What's happened? There's been a coup. What's happening in Lagos? This is the beginning. Yes, yes. Let's stay just a little longer. <laughs> He doesn't deserve you, you know. Leave my son alone. Go and tell your fellow witches that you did not see him. The only authentic identity for an African is his tribe. I'm a Nigerian because the white man created Nigeria and gave me that identity. <laughs> Get out. It meant nothing. I want you to stay away from my house. Stay away. Passports. Bring out your passports. How can I leave my children and run to safety? They will be fine. Why are you running? Where are you running to? Mama, people are fleeing. It's dangerous. I feel as if I have been dropped into something that I don't entirely understand. I was so worried when Port Harcourt fell. We're at war. is the most important thing to me. We have to make the right decision. Wow, right? I mean, you can't even deny it. We all have to go and see that film. All right, on to our number two. It's Alan Gomez's Te, which means today in English. Now that's the Senegalese, Senegalese Wolof dialect, duh, right? The film shares the story of Sache, who returns home to Senegal from America to die. How profound is that? The guy goes home to die. The film is brilliantly shot and it seems to portray the reality of modern day life in Senegal. C'est ici que la mort est venue te chercher. Fais ce que tu as à faire. Tu as le temps de marcher tranquillement jusque là. Now, for our number one most controversial African film to look out for in 2013, can I get a drum roll, please? Is South African flick of Good Report, directed by Jamil Quebecca. This film, wow, guys, it's shot in a film nor fashion and shares the story of a deranged school teacher who falls for his 16-year-old student, right? It already sounds good. She returns his advances, and that is all she wrote, because I want you to go and see this South African thriller. It's enticing, in black and white, and the soundtrack is mesmerizing. But wait, there's more. 
The film was banned in South Africa this year during the Durban Film Festival because the Film and Publication Board, aka the government, cited child pornography. I mean, there is a totally naked sex scene, but all the actors are over the age of 21. Like, come on, South Africa. However, the film has been unbanned, and Jamil Quebecca received an award for artistic bravery after all of that. It Tango is an ever-evolving dance form. It relies heavily on improvisation. The thing with um, It Tango is... Um, Lisa, we are lead. He leads with strength. Give us a chill. And he leads with passion. Hey, slow down. Almost sing at He's a hunter. <laughs> wow, right? Now, these five films, in one way or another, are pushing the limits, stirring controversy, and addressing African political concerns. And that is why they are our top five most controversial African films to see in 2013. Stay with us for more programming here on Sahari TV, your online media for all things Africa.